what would be maybe interesting to see is like in, in this ecosystem really of data technologies, right? Mm -hmm. where, where are you guys sitting? Um, and, and then where, where you see the Hadoops, the Teradatas, the micro strategies, maybe mm. the data meal sitting, right? I, I kind of see you as the fabric that brings it all together. Right, 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 right. right? But is there, is there kind of a central, central brain of that fabric? Right, right, right. I, you know, we believe so. So let me just take a stab at how we think of the world and then yeah. we'll, this is obviously a logical view and it yeah. has to be translated based on. So, you know, we see the world as, you know, start with this is, think of this as data persistence, right? Mm -hmm. So now this world is obviously, so this world, you know, is changing very rapidly, right? It was basically the databases of the world could be anything from mainframe database, relational database, et cetera, now Hadoop and NoSQL, et cetera. This, and this world could be either on-prem or, or in the cloud or a combination. So then we see the world of what we think of as data infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So this is the world which we have traditionally played in. And this world is also changing rapidly because you know, obviously when this changes, this has to change. So, in here, you have things like you know data ingestion, right, mm -hmm. which is changing very rapidly. Which is you know, uh, all the you know somebody once joked to me that whatever IBM worked on in the 1970s always will be useful at some <laughs> point. So, so, so it's like that. It's just you know things concepts like change data capture, right? yeah. the concepts like real time streaming, etc. Mm -hmm. et so all of those are coming back, right? So so you have ingestion, you have data integration. Obviously, that's where you put it together, the aggregation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. I think you have a lot of work around data quality, yeah. and which is you know increasingly how do you do quality, especially on on unstructured data and things mm -hmm. like that. That becomes a lot of work to be done to build that. I think you have a lot of data security, as you said, and security and governance. Maybe we put that together. Mm -hmm. And what we like to think of as the 360 degree view, which is the mastering of the data, mm -hmm. which has to happen at this layer, especially with the variety and volume that you're getting at this layer mm -hmm. for it to be useful. Yeah. And then I'll fill out this last, this third layer here in a second. Okay. This is the layer that you just talked about, which is the apps, which are, and when I think of apps, I could even, I would, have, I would even add users, right? Because the world is, the world sure. is blurring between apps sure. and users, right? So this could be operational apps, a lot of analytical apps, uh, you know, and a lot of, I would say, hybrid apps between the two, which is, you know, machine assisted, yeah. decision making, et cetera, et cetera. So, and if you think of that world, this world is evolving rapidly. And that's where I think over time, like we said, if we could, this is where it's going to go, right? This yeah. is where, now this layer is the layer we think is very promising. And if you, I mean, I don't know where you guys see yourself, we love to see it. We call this as data intelligence. So if you think of this as data infrastructure, mm -hmm. this is data intelligence, which is where this was really not possible before. Now if you think of how much, how much we've seen happen through things like machine learning, mm -hmm. how much we've seen happen through things like uh, you know, uh, recommendation engines, essentially everything Amazon can do right now mm -hmm. with the data it has, mm -hmm. if you can think of inference engines, recommendation engines, that are essentially taking metadata from this layer, mm -hmm. processing it, and making it available mm -hmm. to the apps or to the users, you know, yep. either through API access and yep. so So sort of just, if you will, our simplistic mm -hmm. worldview is mm -hmm. this is where it's kind of going. Yeah. Does it make sense? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Abs to total, couldn't agree more with you, right? So. What, what um, what's very interesting for us, so um, we do have connectors, right? So yeah. um, maybe not the quantity that Informatica has, but uh, um, as we started the company, we saw a huge problem. How are people even getting data into Hadoop? Right. And we made our connectors bi-directional, so we can pull in data, we can push data. Mm. And more and more people really um, taking really advantage of getting data out of our analytical engine, mm. right, if you will. Um, and that's, that's really fascinating. And I can absolutely see here where we see more and more use cases where, you know, we, we helped a big uh, telecommunication company to um, significant cut down on their truck rolls, right? Mm. So in, 
they pull data in, they do their analytics, and historically they would look at the whatever, bar chart and would mm -hmm. say, hmm, we have to change something here. But what's now the results like, okay, well, we create maybe a risk score or mm -hmm. something and push that back Got it. Um, into the system, right? And, 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 and that influences intelligent. The, yes. Got it. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. So we're seeing more and more of those kind of use cases where analytics isn't done anymore to inform the user. It's it's also done to inform the application. That's right. Exactly. To do the right decision. Exactly. As then, you pointed out earlier. Yeah. Exactly. And then it can inf in fact influence the data gathering at this. Uh, you know. What what will happen in the next ten years that will really accelerate all the changes? Yeah. What yeah. is the, What's the, what, What's putting the pressure on the pipe? Yeah, I think uh, just the the two things. I think one from a business perspective, and one from a technical perspective. The business perspective is clearly the idea of data-driven business processes mm -hmm. is just getting embraced very quickly. Yeah. I, mean, I was actually talking to an insurance company earlier this week. Uh, uh, this is these are non-technical people. These are mm -hmm. people who have you know who who have lived in the world of actuarial data sure. in the past. Mm -hmm. And they have realized that this can actually change their world very quickly. Mm -hmm. And many of them also realize that if they don't do it, somebody will. You know, yeah. it's like they will get, there will be an Uber or an Airbnb or somebody like that in their space who puts it together and makes them, mm -hmm. uh, makes them part of the old world. Yeah. So I think that's kind of the business interest and the business pressure. I think that's a very good thing because for that will drive mm -hmm. a lot of investment. I think from a technology perspective, I think you already hit the, the availability of not only the storage capacity, cheap processing power and all of that, but the availability in a very easy to consume manner, you know, through all these cloud services, for example, whether it's Amazon or Azure or Google, or, you know, people really, they are pushing the boundary of mm -hmm. what, uh, how, e how easy it is to consume and, and, and uh, utilize for most customers. That, the two together, mm -hmm. uh, I think, is for providing a lot of impetus mm -hmm. um, for for these kinds of architectures to become reality. Do you think that data uh, is the competitive edge of the future? I believe so. I mean, I, I think for many companies it already is, right? I mean, it's if you, it won't be the only competitive edge. I think you know if you think of, if you think of an old line manufacturing company, if their quality sucks, and ultimately <laughs> <laughs> they, they will go out of business. Mm -hmm. But. Those are disciplines that are becoming table stakes, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the ones that couldn't get their quality problems uh, fixed are already out of business. So the mm -hmm. ones that are left mm -hmm. already have pretty good quality in their manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So what next, right? And how do they turn this into, you know, essentially in economics, as things get better understood, they lead to commoditization. The only way to avoid commoditization is by having an edge that yeah. takes, you know, that's where data becomes a critical role. So I think with what we are seeing in many, many industries, uh, it will definitely be a uh, competitive differentiator. Thank you very much for joining for Big Data on Proofs. My pleasure, Stefan. Thank fun. you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.